can't see me. Because uh, I'm in my freaking midnight. Just cruising down the highway. Just ran to some good friends in Arkansas. There's a picture with them. And uh, I guess I'm going to voice my opinion about all these issues we've been having with shootings of guys by cops. There are ways to avoid it altogether. Now, I feel this is what I do when I'm in my vehicle. And I do have a CCW and I do carry a gun on me at all times because it's kind of screwed up time in the United States of America right now. And we got cops for me. Protect us from the idiots, but sometimes. You have to protect yourself from the idiots. So, for one, I'm not gonna take any sides on the recent shooting. I'm just gonna say ways I feel that makes it easier for a cop to be calm and feel safe while he's around you. Number one, if a police officer pulls you over, you have a few minutes between the time he stops you and gets to your vehicle in order to get your stuff ready. There's no reason for you to be reaching for anything at all when the cops buy your vehicle. You should already have your license, registration, and whatever your state requires out on your dash before he gets to your window. Unless it's raining or high winds or storming outside, and clue if you have tenant windows, your windows need to be down where you can see inside the vehicle. A safer cop means a safer, a safer stop. That's my saying. If you have a weapon in your vehicle and you have a CCW, take out your CCW, unload your weapon, and set on the dash also. Or he can see there's an unloaded gun right there. And if he, if he feels uncomfortable, just tell him to take it out of your car and set it on the roof of the vehicle away from you. Again, a safer cop means a safer stop. Too plain, too soon. Keep your hands on the wheel unless the cop tells you to relax. Now, he walks up to a vehicle, he sees it. You have your hands on the wheel, all your stuff's on the dash. He tells you to relax, it's okay. Yeah, then sit back and relax. But if you see that he's tense, then keep your hands on the wheel where he can see him at all times and don't move, don't budge. And just chill. If a cop's upset and he's giving you crap about something you did or even something you didn't do, there's no reason to argue back. It's what the court system's for. If you feel that you were treated unfair and you got a ticket unfairly, take it to court and fight it in court. There's no reason to have a side-on-side -side brawl on the side of the road with a police officer. That's just stupid because you're going to lose every time. He has a gun, he's in handcuffs, he has a bag. Put it like this. If you're at home and you're a teenager and your parents tell you to go to bed, you go to bed. If you're on the side of the road, the police officer asks for your information, asks you to do certain things, as long as he's legally asking you to do it, he's not asking you to jump out of the dog on the car and strip and balance your booty around, just do it. He's a parent of the streets and the highways. If you do what he says, and you be respectful, even if he's being disrespectful, just an okay and an uh-huh, and keep on rolling, you have a better day, you got a better chance of getting home. Now, if you have a, now it's also another thing you can do, if you have an aggressive police officer, that he's upset, that he probably had a bad day, or hell, he's a cop, you never know, he probably just got shot at, like five minutes ago, and he's being aggressive with you, he's yelling there, then you do have the right to ask for a supervisor to come out. Somebody to come out that's probably a little bit more calmer. All you have to do is ask for a supervisor, if he refuses, just call the local precinct. Everybody has a smartphone. You have Google. Use your Google, call the precinct, tell them, hey, I think your cop's having a bad day. He's a little bit off right now. Can you come back out there because I don't feel comfortable talking to you? Now, I'm pretty sure if you tell a cop, hey, I feel like you're being disrespectful, that you're starting to you know, make me worry, he'll usually he'll calm down because you didn't told him how you feel. And he most likely, he will respect that feeling and kind of back off a little bit. And if it proceeds to happen, like I said, just call the local precinct, 
you can ask him where his precinct's at, or you can call any local police department in that area and ask for a supervisor or another police officer. And they have to send somebody out because this is of your safety. You feel unsafe, the cops there to make you feel safe. Too plain, too simple. But please understand, these guys go through a lot of stuff every single day. These guys are getting shot at. These guys are getting spit on. They're getting jumped on. I mean, hell, we lose more cops every day in America than we, than we have shootings of unarmed people. These guys are putting their lives on the line every single day to make their lives safe. Yes, sometimes they can be a little rascal. I'm a truck driver, so I got to deal with DOT 24-7. I don't like to deal with them, but we have that neutral respect. I get stopped for an inspection. They ask me to do everything that supposed to be for an inspection. I just do it. I don't argue with them. And then usually I just pass it for inspection, and I'm on the road and I'm gone. So when you get stopped, just remember, everything on your dash, handle the steering wheel. If you have tinted windows you can't see through, have your windows down. There's no reason for you to have to reach for anything while the cop is there. You have time to take all your stuff out. A safe cop is a safe way home. Safe cop, safe stop. Two plans to see. And my favorite saying is, a neutral respect makes a better America. Have a nice day.